Okay, we're live, everyone. Hey, everyone, it's Avatar Guy. I'm joined this week by Minty. Hello. Ashen One. Good evening. And Dreamwalker. Hey, everyone. And hopefully by Klee, if he joins a little later. Yeah, hopefully so. Um, today, we're going to be talking about the Avatar Remaster. And... If you haven't seen it already, I would advise that everyone goes and watches the trailer for it. Which, but don't watch it on the official Avatar YouTube channel. Yeah. Search for <laughs> the Dolby Cinema one because 4K. they actually have, the, yeah. yeah, the 4K one. Um, so I, I think that first of all, I just want to uh, get everyone's kind of first impressions of the footage. I, I like it. I think it's good, and I'm excited to see it in the cinema. Um. That's that's kind of my initial that's that's my initial thoughts. Yeah. Mini? Uh I don't like it. And I'm not excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's um I I'm excited to see Avatar again in the cinema. I think that experience is gonna be pretty cool. But the footage that they've released is in my eyes far inferior. It's the color grading of it, it is not that good, I don't think. You know, it's the, like the colors that are now in it, it's way too washed out. Like, there's no contrast left in it. Maybe this is, like, something to do with the trailer. Maybe it will look better on, like, the cinema screen. But right now, it's one just thing. Kinda, one yeah. thing I did read, and I don't, I'm don't. i not an expert on this, so I don't know for certain, was that when HDR gets crushed to a standard DR, um, that it makes it, it can make it look like that in youtube videos so it might it might that might go away you know in the cinema when it's actually showing it in hdr yeah i think it's my main issue though as well is just the way how they've like color corrected everything you know it's like the mountains now are like this weird kind of yellowy color when they're meant to be like that real kind of like dark concrete gray it's the like is, stuff though, like that is yeah i agree with you about the rda base is there but for the jungle, I like the I like the other color. Anyway, I think yeah, like, we can get into this. Good, we can yeah. get into the specifics more. And <laughs> yeah, go yeah. In more, and I think like, let's just jump, keep jumping. Ashen, what did you think? Um, well, I've, uh, <clears throat> I was I was um free. I think this is my fault, but I was uh, expecting for some reason that um they might might have done some re rendering and, and done like new models or something using like Avatar two. Like this was uh, probably in retrospect, this wasn't a good idea to think this, but. Yeah, I thought they might have used some assets from like the new films or something to um Yeah, me too. Yeah, which is why why when it was um I mean, I think <coughs> sorry, one sec. I think it definitely um you can see the improvements and the fact that it's in 4K it looks much clearer. Um the color the color grading for me, uh, the jury's out until I see it in cinema. I, I'm not really too sure. But yeah, you can see that they've definitely done some work. And Dreamwalker? Yeah, I'm pretty much with Minty on that one. I think it looks kind of washed out and overexposed. But as you said, it might be an HDR thing. And I'm pretty sure it will look very different on the on the theater screen. At least I hope so. I, I'm... So, yeah, I'm overall hopeful that what we'll see on the cinema screen is what we'll see. Isn't is is, is going to be like kind of more definitive um and that you need a proper 2k or you know 4k screen with hdr to properly see it um i guess yeah we'll see about that i think mm. the i think so minty mentioned before we actually went live and i want to mention it now before he forgets it oh yeah that, <laughs> that it's gonna be like create like a weird uh i guess it's kind of like a weird star wars situation right where yeah but it's, there might be two like... versions of the film yeah, semi lost media, you know, so mm. you'll still have like all the physical copies of like, you know, like DVDs and you know, like downloads of the movie, but to make it like actually like, you know, easily accessible to the public, like Disney Plus is not going to have an original avatar still on the service. It's going to be this new remaster. So it I worries mean, I, me. I, like, I think that you're totally right. It will. They'll use this new one 100%. Hmm. Um, it's not because it because it's the high resolution, right? So think about it. You don't want to yeah. be watching a 1080p thing on a 2K or a 4K screen. You want to be watching 2K or 4K, which this is going to be in. 
yeah, it's just I don't know. I feel like it, like calling this a remaster in my eyes is like it's kind of a letdown. If they were really going to like remaster it, they would have re-rendered it, and or at I'm least not, some that's, scenes. That's, I, think, I have yeah. to. I probably have to disagree with you, Minnie, because because just the remasters in general, like they they upscale it to four K. They all the other remasters are definitely not doing like. Uh, I mean, you you have uh, the Star Wars example where they actually do put new stuff in, but most remasters are literally just four K um four K versions, really. Yeah. I don't know. It's because I feel like this would have been a golden opportunity to get people back into Avatar to like really be like. I mean, yeah, I think it's still going to do that. I think it's still going to do that. Yeah. I think that it's going to be. I think I said this before. It's going to be an opportunity for so many people who didn't get a chance to see it in the cinema when it first came out in 3D. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I think I think that's totally one of the things. Um, I mean, at the same time, it might not be finished yet. I suppose is because I, I think it's right must be finished, it's... man. It's four weeks yeah. to go. Yeah, they got to start sending out the reels to the cinemas soon. So it's yeah, it must be finished. Surely they wouldn't have announced it otherwise. One thing that actually a bunch of people have mentioned, and I guess this goes on to that color grading point you were talking about, Minnie, is people said that it looks like they've tried to bring it more in line with the look of the sequels in terms of the color. Yeah. I'm not sure it does that. I th I kind of yeah. I think it does the opposite. Kind of yeah, it's you see like the new movie to me is it's a lot of blues. Uh, like the greens aren't overpowering. It, it feels seems, pretty it, realistic, but in this new it, remaster now, it, it feels way too like fantastical. You know, it's it like it doesn't feel like a science fiction movie anymore. It's, it feels like someone took like the like the green and blue scale and just pushed it up a tiny bit it's just like there's a there's a light overlay of just green yeah. i don't know it feels uncomfortable to look at like, I, mean, I mean i mean once it's in cinema i think it's gonna look great probably uh yeah probably like i, mean, I feel it's, like i'm the only one who I, I, i'm the only one who actually likes how it looks even on youtube <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I mean, that's I like a good point about it. YouTube, though, isn't it? Because because YouTube doesn't actually show how it's going to look properly. That's true, but yeah. what I'm saying is that I like the new colors that even as I see it on YouTube, I quite I don't know this. I like that, like for example, in the forest where everything's really green, and even that section where Quaritch jumps out of the shuttle lands, his suit looks more military green to me than it does in the original. I. I quite like it, even if maybe. Oh, no, I don't know. Like, I like, <laughs> I like that real, like, kind of nice, like, dark blue for a lot of it. But, like, I don't know. It's, it just feels way too fantastical and fake to me now. But, like, in the original way, how it was rendered, it felt very, like, real and, like, you could go there. I don't know, man. I, like, yeah. so one of the bits, so one of the bits for me. And Ashen, as this, I think I mentioned this when we were doing the remastered comparison video, was that when you look at them both side by side, you can they seem less shiny, and so that makes them look more real to me than yeah than I, fantastic. I think yeah, it, it'll probably like it'll fix some of the creatures actually because if you look at Taruk in the first movie, he looks like yeah. kind of really like glossy and like mm -hmm. it, like there's like a coat of slime on him or something, you know. So it'll be interesting to see if they add more imperfections into him, like you know more scales. Because if you look at the new movie with the Tolkien, the like the released image of Loak touching him, you can see all the scratches and. The kind of the dance and you like it feels like more real, but with Taruk, it's it's yeah. When you say that, it actually does make me think. I wonder if they there's going to be a kind of like a huge jump between this this one, even the remaster, and when we see the sequel, because like you said, when you see Taruk in the original, he he looks like he's just fresh. He's, you know, he's got perfect... The, the skin's perfect when, obviously, yeah. if he was an Apex Predator, he'd have way more detail than that. And I bet that if they actually did it today using the Avatar Way of Water tech, he would look way more, like, weathered, like with the Tolkien. Because that thing looks like it's been under the sea 
for a long time. Yeah, um, yeah. it looks like um, real whale skin. Like, have you ever seen like a whale up close? Like, it it's smooth, but there's so many like dents and kind of wrinkles in the skin when you get up close to it. You know, mm. like it's they're basing it a lot more off like real life animals. But I feel like with Taruka, it's too alien. If that I makes see. sense. So it's when you design a character or an animal like that to the point where it is so different from anything we've ever seen, your brain automatically thinks okay, that it's um, where are you? <laughs> Please here. Oh, we are. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <You're alive. laughs> Clee has joined us. Is he? And, uh, Clee? Yes, I am here. Oh, he's here. D'accord. <laughs> so, so far, we've got me, who's the only person who um, likes the remastered trailer. <laughs> no, I mean, they like the color grading. Um, yeah, the color grading, yes. Everyone else thinks the color grading is a bit too intense. It's, it's kind of where we're at at the moment. Yes, no, I, I did enjoy the new colors and the new, I don't know, the new visuals. It's like it's more, it's clearer. You can see more in the backgrounds, like places where you had mist or haze and i feel like you can see it better in your new version you know i don't know if any of you have seen the differences between the lord of the rings remaster uh and and the original film but there was like a good comparison for me is like the snowy mountains in lord of the rings the original sort of um release the fellowship was just pure white and then it was just kind of had a blue tinge in the remaster. I feel like it's the same here. Like there's the yeah, cloud. I feel that as well. It's because they're now like doing it more on like digital filming, and it's like and they're going about it the wrong way. Not everything needs more detail, but then the stuff that needs more detail in my eyes has not gotten the treatment. You know, mm. James Cameron loves adding blue to his remasters, though. If yeah, you any of the remasters that he's done, he loves adding more blue to it. So aliens, Terminator Two, they look mm. so they look like they've had a blue filter applied to them. Um, like genuinely, it's it's kind of strange. So maybe that's just you know depending on how much input Jim's had on this because this is another one that we we were talking about that Ash and one and I were talking about is you know for each trailer when you watch the remaster trailer I don't think that Jim's edited that I think that that's a company that's edited that together whereas. I think that it's way more likely that Jim has edited the Way of Water trailer because they just, I don't like. Yeah, Ashes it's so remember. different. Like, I, it I know it's doesn't feel well, like yeah. a usual trailer. Like the the trailer for the for the remaster, it, I mean, it feels a bit more like a trailer. It feels a bit like it's trying to emulate the style of the Way of Water, but the Way of Water is very haunting, you know. Yeah. Oh, have you guys seen the original trailer for Avatar? Like the one, like from two thousand nine, like the one that tells the whole story. Yeah, the one that gives everything away. The one yeah. that's oh my god! That, even the music as well, or like it, it's like a really like hopeful soundtrack when he's like coming off the plane. Like that trailer is so bad. Like oh my god! Like <laughs> there was there was a, I saw this like list once. I can't remember what it was, but it was trailers that give away too much of the movie yeah. and that was one of the ones that was listed the other one was have you seen dry for the ryan gosling if yeah, you watch they that trailer, it gives away everything the end. yeah yeah it's... they do <laughs> it's it, it, it's one of I, i'm kind of a little bit anxious about the trail you know the, the trailer that we're gonna get is it's kind of I hope it doesn't give away too much. I feel, I feel like know? back like a decade ago, trailers were much more like that. Though I think it's a change in how they do trailers. So I, I, I'm not too concerned right now, but I guess we'll see. And mm. with the number of true detectives that we have in the Avatar community, though, <laughs> people are going to strip it apart and take it apart. Oh, yeah, we're going to know the I've entire already thing seen it. like people <laughs> trying to make a timeline for shots in the Avatar Way of Water trailer. I'm like. Man, people ruin everything. <laughs> I mean, that's actually <laughs> when I was watching it. So I, I had to watch it like fifty times because I was making a video for it. Uh, mm. it, it what's one of the? I had like an epiphany moment. It's like, wait, this this tra this teaser trailer is in chronological order almost. Like this is the order of things which are happening in the film, probably. Uh, so yeah, it's fun. It's funny. Uh, I suppose, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, actually, because it starts off with like them jumping around in the forest, and then it yeah. goes to bad stuff happen. Then they need to fly out to the other place. Then yeah, the yeah, yeah. What what do you think they're gonna call it as well? I think it's just gonna be. They're just gonna call it Avatar. I don't think I would have no. liked. Oh, I, I don't mean that. I'm I'm talking about like the big tree, you know, like the big mangrove bush that the oh like, yeah the people. Yeah, yeah. So you know how uh, didn't they say? Uh, didn't they call it the uh, Kova's ancestors or something? That's not. I don't think that's where they live. I think that's the the stone oh, yeah, 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 yeah. they visit. Yeah, it's like the, the tree of souls versus the home tree. The home tree. Um, so yeah. this is this is another good question from the chat, and this is actually I think one of my favorite things to discuss is. So, is what version of Avatar will it be? Because mm -hmm. most of the evidence points to the fact that it will be the theatrical cut. Because uh, one of the things is that it's been it's been like certified by a bunch of um, film institutes, so in America and in Britain, and they all seem to be listing the theatrical cut runtime, um, which I think mm. is it two two hours forty minutes, something like that. I should know that. I hope I? they include some deleted scenes, though. So like, this is, I really yeah, want to see. Yeah. Yeah, Evidence the... is pointing one way, but my heart is pointing another. <laughs> I just want to see Quaritch grab Selfridge and be like, you're not on Earth anymore. <laughs> like, that's all I want. That, you know, oh, that's all I want. Love love that scene. From the, I, I, you know I, I knew everyone better. loves it, but... If the I remaster am... was just that deleted scene in the cinema, it's two minutes long. You go in, you I see that you're scene, not you the walk only out. One thinking that means I think a lot of people love that scene, but I think um, it's, it's too easy for Selfridge. Like, is is out of control. Is like Courage is not his laptop anymore. So it's almost too easy for his character. You know, is like not in control anymore. Oh, I'm just I'm just along for the ride now. Whereas. No, if you I... remove that scene, is you like you still can, like Selfridge could maybe try and stop it, but it doesn't. So I think yeah. it's more. What I feel about it, though, is that's my rational. You... Yeah, if you compare that scene to everything else in it, Quaritch is always listening to Selfridge, and then yeah. all of a sudden he just like bursts out and he's like, "Yeah, you're not and he, like he just comes out. And at the that's same time, you can so feel much. that that Quaritch is listening to Selfridge, but only because Selfridge knows never to give him an order it doesn't really want to do like mm. it there's I, a balance between them that i think that scene completely ruins that's I, my I, opinion of it i like that scene because i think it it, say, it it gives selfridge more character it, yeah. it gives yeah. him backbone because in the first half of that scene he he's telling them to stop right to not bomb the the tree of souls and it that gave him a little bit more like depth for me. Yeah. I like tries that. to stand up to courage. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And also, that would make it like that would have more sense for them bringing back courage, getting them doing community service because Selfridge could have been like, oh yeah, he like he was the one who did it, and they're like, right, you're gonna be an avatar. You know, they can use that. Yeah. <laughs> My oh, local God. cinema's got Avatar listed as two hours forty two minutes, so that's the yeah, that's the theatrical cut. Yeah, or it could be the theatrical yeah. plus the two minute scene that Minnie wants. Oh, oh, that'd be beautiful. <laughs> I love that oh, scene. Actually, actually, it's so good. It, I, I just think we'll have a post credit scene. Scenes. Yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> it I would think... be funny though. No, but no, but honestly, Jake will because... return. Okay. In <laughs> <laughs> Jake will return. Uh, if they did that, I'd be very upset. You know, like you guys all know the joke, but nah, what they should do though, yeah, is so we all know that Quaritch is going to be in the second movie, but they could put in like a little hint as into how he's going to be coming back or something. Like they could have it so it's like his avatar is like waking up in the post credit scene. I don't like it because it's like a it's like a several years time jump and it doesn't belong yeah. in the first movie it's part of the second movie no no but it could no no but it could be a scene from the second movie just as yeah like, exactly yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. scene from the second no, movie I, in the first no, one I get I get what Menti is saying though it's like um it's not part of the movie it's just something extra in the cinema for oh. the remaster. Yeah, yeah, it's like um, okay, you know, in Captain Marvel, how at the end, like yeah, the post credit yeah. scene for Captain Marvel was like literally a scene from Endgame. I'm talking something like that, just for the cinema, just to be like, ooh, 
and then we can talk about it on this yeah. podcast. Yes, yes, we would. <laughs> Content, <laughs> guys. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the scenes I would really like to come back are the the scenes where Trudy Shaken, the Shaken, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, Michelle Rodriguez's character, the scene where she's explaining to the Navi how how helicopters work and how to destroy them. Mm -hmm. That's a scene I really uh, like. And I it makes know. sense because you can you can see the Navi painting a helicopter. I really like that scene. My biggest one is is I think this is scene 17 that has been mentioned in the chat. It's, I think it's a dream hunt one where he take yes. he gets stung by the the bug and then he goes on the the, the hallucinogenic trip. For me yeah. that that um that would be the one that I would I would want back. But I think that's like a 10 minute long scene. Yeah. That's a, and yeah. It's make audience feel uncomfortable man like they're watching requiem for a dream or something yeah exactly no, no, like you're watching the void yeah no, it's, honestly it's i know, I know this yeah, it's probably because... too intense for not for cinema connoisseurs like us but yeah or our <laughs> audience obviously Kino says. <laughs> everyone who's listening to us right now you could you would get it but yeah you know i was yeah okay so eric actually just said that this is a scene that I'd love to have. Like, even though they wouldn't do it because it's like a family movie, but like the scene with Norm and Trudy, because that adds so much to Norm's character. I feel like. Yes, I agree. You know, yeah, it, it completely, completely changes agree. him around because before yeah. he's just like, ah, oh, this guy is kind of like you know a bit of a like you know. Yeah, in the uh, theatrical <laughs> release, you don't really know why he yeah he, he accepts just... Jake all of a sudden. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, but I feel like that makes it even funnier, though. Like, you know, it's like if he's like, I don't know if, if the reason why he stops being like such a like, oh, yeah. come on, man. Is but because at he the gets same time, That's I understand why they don't do this because it's a bit of a cliche, you know. Man is yeah, angry, yeah, yeah. man needs woman. No, but and that's, why, that's why it's, it's funny, though, because yeah, yeah because but Norman, I agree, there's no but... character there, really. But if he's just in a joke like that, it's kind of just like, oh, Norm, bro. Like, <laughs> okay. Someone, <laughs> kind of someone mentioned, so I'm going to cut this, this off before we go for, down the rabbit hole. Um, that was that. One of the things is that the Earth scene of Jake in the beginning, because I agree that it adds so much like yes. extra depth to the world. My problem is, I I love the opening in the theatrical mall. Yeah, you know where it's you floating through the trees and yeah. he, there's the voiceover. That's just, yeah. You want that to open the, the movie opening. strong. You open the mm -hmm. movie as you get to Pandora. That's and there's well, also that's why I a think you cut it. Yeah, yeah. Because it's a great scene, but the opening is so much stronger when you open on Pandora. Exactly. And also, I feel like as well, if you show Earth in the movie, there's definitely going to be people who are like, oh, that's not that bad. That's yeah, like, that just kind of looks bad. like, that looks like my city, like kind of thing. Like, oh, you know, no, I know. I, like, yeah, I get like, that. Yeah. Because in the theatrical, it, it's left in your, more, much more in your mind. Like, actually, do you exactly, see the other yeah. all? No, not no. at all. No. Yeah. They, I mean, you just yeah, get I think Jake I... saying they killed their mother, but mm. see, I think yeah, like... I, for me personally, I always prefer movies that let you fill in in your head. I, it's like it's one of the reasons yeah. why Prometheus and stuff made me so sad was because mm -hmm. in Alien, you know, when they show the big jockey, I, like all the different stories I came up with in my head and imagining what that was, and oh yeah, I hate that you know, as well because like it's just yeah. a big, it's just a and big. All one. of them are cooler mm -hmm. than Prometheus. Right, yeah, like it, I... it, for me, there's some things that are left better un unshown, yeah, better left to the imagination. The only time I want to see Earth in any Avatar movie going forward is like a flashback scene with Quaritch in, uh, where was it, Nigeria, I think. Yeah, yeah, Too yeah. Close. That'd be so cool. Okay, there's one advantage to the to the extended scene on Earth. It's that because you get the like the dialogue about Jake's brother being dead, you get it on Earth, so you don't get the voiceover while the Valkyrie shuttle is undocking, and that means you get to hear the comms chatter between the Valkyrie and the ISV Venture Star, and that's actually the only time in the movie where they actually say Venture Star, and some <laughs> of you might know me as <laughs> the Venture Star fan, so it's, yes. it's no, important no, no, but, for me. No, no, but you see, what they could do instead is, 
when you see you know that establishing shot of which is so cool by the way when like the camera goes over yeah. when i first yeah, saw you that see movie, Pandora in the mirror and then the yeah, camera you know the mirror. i love that i love Dude, that i thought that mirror was a portal that the ship was going through to get the pandora <laughs> oh. <laughs> i i don't think i've talked about this in the on the podcast but i've talked about this in private but actually in that shot, the ISV Venture Star is pointing the wrong way. It should be pointing its engine at Pandora to break into orbit. But no, if you pointed it the, the movie, ISV though. Venture Star the right way, you could not do that cool mirror shot. Yeah, exactly. so it it... I, I forgive the movie for this. I just it bugs me a little bit that it's pointing the engines the wrong way. Mm-hmm. I think no, but they were preparing to like. I think what happened is. They were coming in a little bit too fast, and they're like, "Dude, we're gonna crash into yeah, the exactly. planet." Exactly. They're going like, too fast. They should point the engines at the moon. Yeah, they point the engines. Point they, the wrong way. They're going to need Please to break right. into yeah, orbit yeah, because, because right now they're to in turn, orbit to get yeah. famous. Okay, one anyway. point that, that someone said in the comments that I really like is is that the fact that they really like Jake standing up for the little guy. Like, so him in the bar where he's standing up for the woman. Mm-hmm. I think. I think that's almost like a microcosm of the entire film, right? It shows yeah. Jake's character. That, yeah, he that hates. single scene shows you Jake's character perfectly. I mm-hmm. agree. It's like you know him after that scene. And there's a lot of symbolism as well. Like I think we've. This is where I should have prepared the images, but and that I lost my like mind when everyone showed it was that when he gets knocked outside and thrown out onto the like that's concrete, when he dies. He he looks like I mean yeah in Minnie's theory <laughs> that's when he dies. It, but he does the whole like Christ pose. You know where he yeah. looks like he's been crucified. Um, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Not a gr- actually, yeah. let's not include this now. <laughs> no, but uh, you know what I mean. Like Jim's obviously got like even Jim loves this. Like J- John Connor's JC. I mean, whether that's oh, yeah. Jesus Dude, Christ or James, James Cameron. Cameron. Yeah, 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 of course. Jesus Christ, <laughs> JC. There's, there's a James reason why all his main characters Jesus begin Christ, with the J. Same person. What? <laughs> Advanced theory or. James Cameron's second coming. Yeah. Um I I would look like maybe then, and maybe again this is for then this is that thing that Minnie was discussing. I would be so happy, imagine, if for whatever reason Jim has just said to the, the cast, Look, I'm James Cameron, we're gonna re- we're gonna re-render every deleted scene and that they, they put out a Blu-ray after the remasters come out, which is like the five hour long cut. I would love that. <laughs> that would be so good. I mean, people watch Lord of the Rings all the time with all the deleted scenes in. Like that's yeah. one of the things that people love about those movies, right? Yeah. Uh, I I personally would love to see an Avatar like full cut. Yeah, the full length. Yeah. See, I think it will happen if The Way of Water is like a really popular movie, then I think they will because people will look back on that like the first movie like, "Oh, hey, this is actually really good. I love this movie." You know, that kind of thing. Because what do you right mean now? If... Well, because Not you know me, it's <laughs> no, no. But honestly, because yeah. I think there's a difference between like you know, uh, like yeah, the way of water reasons. being like a good movie and being like the new MCU or yeah. like the new Star, oh, like you know, you can Avatar like... all over again. Yeah, I don't know if exactly. I want. I don't know if I want it to be like MCU or anything like that. I want it to be Avatar again. I don't want. It needs what, to be for like people to go see it and be obsessed with it for a no, month no, and then forget no, about no, it. No, that's kind of it, right? But no, 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 because I don't yeah. think Avatar was forgotten for a month, right? It, we wouldn't be talking about it now if it was. What I'm saying is, I think Marvel movies are a moment in time, and even Avatar, like you said, is to a certain extent a moment in time. I, I want these movies to have a bigger impact, and I think Jim, this is why he's making them, he wants this too. Yeah. He wants them to have a broader impact than just the films themselves. And I, yeah. that's yeah. what I hope they can have. I hope it makes people look at the world around them differently and and kind of appreciate it more. You know, they, they understand that that's what Avatar is trying to tell them. Yeah, yeah. He, he did. He did himself compare it to Lord of the Rings and Star Wars. Never mentioned Marvel though. Yeah, because Marvel is a million Marvel movies. Sucks. No, but I think what it means is that uh, with Star Wars, even back when it was only three movie or only six movies, like people would be. People would think about it all the time. Yeah. Like you had forums and wikis for Star Wars because people would be obsessed with it. And Marvel has that to an extent as well. 
And I think yeah. that's what he wants. He wants just people to be Avatar fans. <laughs> it's simple. But... Simple. I think class. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, people actually. would be Star Wars fans. Not, not as much anymore, maybe. But like ten years ago or fifteen years ago, you had like huge fans of Star Wars everywhere. Mm -hmm. So this, is, this is mean, Star Wars. I feel like man, just the way it's gone, it's like there's like I feel like there's a vacuum right now because. Mm -hmm. Star Wars isn't making any like you know kind of big new movies anymore. Yeah, Star Wars it's just kind of TV Marvel. shows. Yeah, same yeah. with Marvel as well. That's why yeah, it's you know like new, stuff like thing. Dune. And... They need to be always more things. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know, it's like, yeah, that is yeah. one of the benefits I think of James Cameron and the fact that they've planned this saga out is that it will have a definitive end. Yeah, that even in the i'm crossing my fingers the scenarios you know where they do decide to turn avatar into this huge property and keep it going forever that you'll always be able to look back on it and say that's the james cameron saga you know that's his contained Terminator. story yeah that yeah at, at least well, I hope to go back mm -hmm. to star wars like even when star wars was only three movies you had like books and comics and video games and all of that new new media in the yeah. universe to keep up interest and but you still had only three movies and i think we're probably going to see something we already see something similar with avatar right now there's comics and video games that's i think that, I've, that that star wars managed to make itself still feel special when it was only movies and yeah. now it feels a little bit too uh run of the mill or common you know yeah, now there's so there's much ten content ten shows yeah yeah this um, is why i think marvel shouldn't have done bothered with its tv shows no uh, that's a different story i guess i, I agree with Cleet saying about star wars though because when it was just free movies you got so much material i think personally i think this is going to be this generation's um star wars i i, I yeah. have no doubt in my mind that it's going to go it's going to be huge mm. so uh, one question that i was i kept thinking about and that, that i think I like I, I did everyone here see the original in the in the in the cinema? Ashen, yeah. I know you yeah. fell asleep. Uh, no, <laughs> I was very tired. I didn't, my my housemate next to me fell asleep. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. But what I'm saying is, I th I think that one of the things for the remaster is that there is a, a huge amount of people who were who become fans of the movie it, since it came out who never got to experience it in 3D. And I think that that's one of the reasons why the trailer said that. It even comes up, the title card says, see it how it was supposed to be seen. Is it is that the wording? Something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that that's one of the things that James Cameron must have had in his mind. He knew that there was a bunch of people who, I mean, f there's tons of people in the Discord who are he huge fans. On this, on this YouTube channel, right? Um, right. Hadn't seen oh, it yeah, three. yeah. It was like half of the people hadn't had never had a chance to see the original in 3D. Yeah, um, like there's people on Discords that were born after Avatar came out, right? Which is yeah, insane who were huge fans. to me. Like that is insane, man. Yeah. So look, so, yeah, people. We've got people in the chat. The re-release. It, it, so there's people in the chat saying that yeah, they've never got to see it, and this is what I'm saying. People didn't. The people yeah, were on TV, TV, but it was the yeah. same thing when I was a kid. You know, I saw Star Wars on VHS. It's mm -hmm. I was still a huge fan of it. Right. I mean, yeah, my favorite movie of all time is Aliens. I the yeah. first time I saw that was VHS. Um, for sure, and yeah, I guess it, we are showing our ages. <laughs> to the chance, but... I, think, um, I think this is different though because it's like a fully new format uh, to see the movie in and. It was actually, it, it was filmed with this in mind. That was its new big technology. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like people, yeah. people have never seen, never seen a, a 3D movie in 3D. So I say that because lots of, lots of movies are in 3D, but they're post-processed, which means they don't shoot the film with 3D in mind. They just add it afterwards. And Avatar is a film that actually shot the film with 3D in mind. So when you go watch it and you have never seen like a proper 3D movie, like, I don't know if you guys have seen Gravity, yeah, but that's the different. One. Yeah, yeah. If if you haven't seen one like this, you, you, your mind would be blown. I think mm -hmm. how good 3D mm -hmm. can actually be. It's not mm -hmm. a gimmick. It's actually it adds to the experience. Well, it's a gimmick yeah. in most movies, but yeah. yeah, movies where it's added in post process, just like you pointed out. I, I would genuinely love so 
A A B James. So yes, provisionally it's two weeks, but I think that that's a marketing gimmick. I think so. When Toy Story three was released, or maybe it was Toy Story two, or maybe it was the original Toy Story. So we're well, talking about the release window for yeah, the release window. So for those of you who don't know, it's supposed to be released globally on the twenty third of um, September. September, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's supposed to be come out for only two weeks. So, I think that what they're going to do is, or what they're hoping for, is that it will come out for two weeks, but then they'll say the demand is so high that they're extending it for two more weeks. So, it'll be full for, for be a full four weeks. See, what I think they're going to do as well, though, is they're going to release it now for two weeks, and then when Avatar 2 comes out, they're going to do this thing called a double bill. I don't know if you guys have it in your countries, but yeah. that's a huge thing in Ireland and in South Africa. Is like, six hours double bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, I went to go see the Infinity War and it, uh, Avengers Endgame one, but it was when I was seeing Endgame for the first time. Really? So, so, Every yeah, yeah, yeah. Single Marvel no, movie. No, 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 no. I watched Infinity War and then, oh, like, okay. literally, like, you know, like the scene Stuff, when, um, yeah. you know, like it ends, like, uh, like Steve Rogers goes, oh, God. It just cuts to Hawkeye with his family. Oh, so, so it, it was like a six-hour yeah, long movie. It yeah. was wow. insane, man. Oh my god, that was like that was the best experience of my life when I was that. Like, oh my was, god, like, you know, like, then, uh... <laughs> with, with Avatar, though, it's like thirteen years later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I want. I want SpongeBob guys to like pop up on the screen and say, "Oh, that, that would be hilarious. yeah, that'd be amazing, man." No, yeah, I would to go see that. I'd love to see an Avatar double bill. In fact, yeah. you know what? They should do a James Cameronathon. I want to see every single Jim film from the beginning, and then <laughs> Jimathon. <laughs> Starting <laughs> with uh, Zeno. What's the name of it? Zeno Bio. Yeah. Zeno Genesis. You could do that yeah, with Terminator, see. though. Honestly, I kind of hope that, like, instead of just like only releasing the first Avatar movie again, they should release all of them like in cinemas, but like only do it for like a week. But man, I'd love to see Terminator Two in cinemas. I wonder if they'll do that in the future. So, like in 2027, yeah. you'll, you'll be able to go see all the Avatar movies in a row. Yeah, that <laughs> would be fun. Have you, have you guys heard of um, Subathons? It's a, like a Twitch thing, which Twitch streamers do. They basically uh, they stream for like 48 hours straight or something, and they actually stream themselves sleeping. So, I, oh, you, yeah, yeah, I've seen maybe that. Maybe Avatar guy. I'm not doing that. that. I'm not sleeping. <laughs> I'm not drip sleeping myself. I'm not streaming myself sleep. My friend did that unintentionally. He was streaming a game with his camera on. And he fell asleep, and like people started like commenting about it on Twitter. So then he got like a hundred people on his stream when he usually only had like seven. <laughs> and they were all like screenshotting it because he slept in like a really weird way. Like he just kind of like rolled back in his chair. <laughs> I'm scared now. I'm gonna get. It's pretty gonna funny, get, yeah. Streaming. I mean, I actually think I did say that I'd like to stream for 24 hours up until like, the release of the film. Someone just said Subaton in the theaters, dude. Can you watch it all that off? And it's like, did you ever see that video of Shia LaBeouf watching every think, single one yeah. of his movies? I want to see that, but with the exact like, same one with Avatar guy watching every single James Cameron movie. I just me crying. For I've said this before. Hours. If you guys buy me a camera, it, like a little webcam, I will do that <laughs> with every single James Cameron movie of like just filming myself watching every James Cameron movie. <laughs> You hear that oh. chat? Keep up the donations coming. So yeah, we're gonna <laughs> set up. We're gonna set up a Patreon to get. If you want the Shia LaBeouf experience with James Cameron movies, then yeah, hit, leave <laughs> yes. a comment, hit subscribe, leave a like. Um, we will do it. To, uh, it's a good time to go back. To we the, we uh, won't include the footage because it's copyright, but you can see me looking at the footage. Oh my god, that's insanity! Sorry, Ashton, yeah. what were you saying? So, so just just going back to the release window, what you were saying before, I think I lost track, but it, it, you were saying that you think it's going to go to four weeks. Yeah, too. I actually think I think the same, and I think they actually are like planning four weeks, but they're purposely doing two weeks just as a little marketing thing. Oh yeah, exactly. It's like to bring people to the cinemas because it's it's exclusive. You've only got two weeks to come see it. You got to go see it every week. week. And oops, oh, we're extending it two weeks because of we had high demand. I think it's I think it's the marketing thing. 
Mm. Okay, I so think then, as well, though, it'll probably be I left think, up to the cinemas, no? Uh, it will, but there's not really anything else for them to show. So, like, there's nothing else coming out in that period. Like, the, the no. next film is, they've got, uh, what's the one with um, The Rock in? The new one with him. Uh, it's the, the Rock in? No, not Scorpion King. <laughs> Wait, what Black is Adam. Adam. Wait, Black Adam. Elvis? No, it's called Black I mean, Adam. It's not Elvis movie. Um, What's the rocking movie? Bro? The, the movie with the rock in. It's oh. Black Adam. <laughs> oh my god. No, I was like, what is the rocking man? And then I was thinking, Elvis? No. Oh my god. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, the Black Adam movie that like was announced like eight years ago and is only being made now. Well, I think it, it's got the potential to be anyway. Aside from that, so this is the question I wanted to ask everyone, okay? Will Avatar become the first movie of all time to break three billion dollars at the box office? Yes. Just, just for some background for everyone who's listening. It needs to make, I think, $153 million to reach $3 billion. No other film has ever broken that. The first film to break a billion was Titanic. The first film to break $2 billion was Avatar. Can James Cameron do it a third time? <laughs> what do you think? Wait, so are you saying can the remaster make... Yes. Can the remaster make enough money to over $153 uh... million? <sighs> I, I think it can. I, I don't it know, can. Man. I think it will, and I think it can. Yeah, I think it probably will. Yeah, it I believe in Jim. But... So this, I don't um... know. Like, will the remaster be released in China? No, yeah, yeah, that's the no. biggest. I yeah. think so, actually. Yeah, then it, it won't. I don't think. You know, it's like I don't know, man. Non believe in to be released um... in India. That's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it gets released in India, then maybe. But I don't know, man. There's some good movies that the re-release is going to have to go against in India. There's that new movie coming out soon, actually. It's been like um, co-produced by Fox. And it looks really good. Well, Anna Manesis became a YouTube member. Welcome. Oh, that, welcome. It, it means that he gets a cool little... Yeah, um... we are one step closer to live streaming Minty yeah. Sleeping. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Thank you, Anamonesis. You're the best. So, so yeah, if you want, um, if you want, <laughs> if you want to join, you can. That's one. You can join and become a member and support the thing and support us in our endeavor <laughs> to get Minty a camera. Yes. Um, I think. Yeah, I, I think. I think it's. I think. Right. I think we're gonna get a mini word of mouth again. That's that's my hope. Yeah. Um. Mm. Yeah, and I think that's the plan because else. they're not advertising it that much. So I think they're counting on people just going to see it and then being like, I mean, young people who haven't seen it before, maybe never, maybe just not in theaters mm -hmm. and like telling all their friends. I think that's the plan. I think, I think because it's and getting that's basically IMAX. what happened the first time. So I think, I think the weekend is quite quiet. Like that time period in September is quite quiet. So it's actually going to get all the IMAX screens. I think maybe half of them. I'm not sure, but I've seen some projections of how much it's going to make in, uh, in America, which is the domestic market. And it looks somewhere between 20 and 40 million. So uh, I guess, depending on how well it does there, it could, it could get to the 3 billion mark without China. Because um, re with the original Avatar, it made uh, seventy percent of its like box office um, internationally, and thirty percent in that America region. So if it does manage to get that forty million in um, in America, it probably um, globally will manage to get to three billion. But so it's going to have to perform really well with the time yeah. with, with with the sort of conditions it's being given. So it's, it's if it's definitely... only two weeks, then I don't know. But if it goes on for like, like honestly, if they have it, so they're just letting cinemas show it on their own, like um, yeah. on like their own will, like I, because I know some cinemas that will show the Avatar remaster until December to draw up hype for like a new movie coming out. If they do that, then absolutely, it's gonna make three billion. But I don't know, two weeks, man, it's gonna be tight. Uh, I'm relying on the um, the extension to four weeks for sure. Yeah. 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 Oh, I also think um, Beck Apic just said 
why isn't A2 advertised much? I think that's because D3, D23 hasn't happened yet. But I think after that, then it's really going to hype up. I think Avatar 1 is going to be the advertisement in a lot of ways too. Yeah. No, but I think I, it's like, yeah. it's really like, I'd say that after D23, it's going to be like, you're going to start seeing like, you know, adverts on like bosses. Yeah. Do you guys yeah. want to know the funniest, like the, 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 the biggest advertisement, to, one of the biggest, which, which no one talks about, it's actually in, in the Disney world and what is it? World of Pandora, I forgot its name. There's there's a there's a ride called Flight of Passage, oh, and yeah. if you work it out, how many people have actually been on that ride over the last what eight years? It's something. It's something like five million views, and you that's what that's rated as one of the best rides in the whole of that park. And I don't know. It feels to me like if someone's been on that ride, they're probably going to go watch Avatar yeah. too. Mm. Yeah, I I haven't been on the ride, but I've watched some footage of it, and yeah, it's really it's really cool, and it really makes you want to see Pandora. Yeah, it looks cool. I'd like to go to that place someday, but a little bit too expensive right now. <laughs> Hopefully, they build one in um, what's it called? The one in yeah, Paris? Euro Disney. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Euro Disney. I I hope for that as well because I can't afford to go to America. It costs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, if you want to send us to America so we can do a tour of Pandora. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone be a, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I will bring the camera. I'll bring the camera that you guys buy me. I mean, I'll, I'll record myself going around Disney World. With, with that market now, just thinking of there, with with at the Disneyland, it really does go show how, how much that matters. When you think about Marvel, how it sort of snowballed into into being so big and popular mm-hmm. those are different things like that it's like a feedback loop and everything sort of grows together like i think i think avatar 5 could make literally six billion i'm not even just kidding i mean it's a bit too far out to say but it's going to be in 2020 why right? would avatar right? 5 make half as much as avatar 4 <laughs> <laughs> no, but if you look at it as well though like if you told someone back in like 2011 that like you know the turn and four avengers movies are gonna make like billions people Mm -hmm. bro what are you talking about the movie with like a guy that like has a frisbee and like a dude with like a big hammer like you know they would have called you crazy but like the frisbee i'm sure the captain american fans are very happy right now Oh, if no, there is I'm any, sure that joke movie. has been made in the movies several times. Yeah, he, so. they literally. Oh, sorry, I don't, yeah. I don't watch them. I don't. I don't like Captain America. <laughs> the the big. It's going to be funny when Ashton's prediction comes true and it does make that much money. But a loaf of bread costs sixty million, so it's not actually that much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah inflation's going to go up, guys. This is um, the thing, like around the discussion when we talk about Avatar making all that money, right? Is that when you adjust for inflation, the original Avatar made over three billion. It made like three point five at least, I think. And when mm-hmm. you when you factor yeah, for market growth as well, like China's like markets like seven eight times the size. So yeah, over yeah. three point nine. Yeah, I th- I was I was, I thought China was ten times bigger. I thought China's was really well. Yeah, I mean, China's, I guess, China's but... big market, man. You see, I don't know, the whole idea of, you know, Hollywood making movies to sell in China, that's not as common as it used to be. Yeah, you know, I mean, Ch- China's put the foot down. They don't want Hollywood American yeah, movies in shown. Yeah, they don't, like, I think the last, like, major Hollywood release of a movie, like, in China, that was, what was, like, Fast and Furious 9, and that was it. Like there hasn't been any since. Like it's... The, the, this is the thing that I've been thinking of a lot, right? Is that I wonder how much they'll lean on the fact that it is mostly made in New Zealand. Because oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, because if, James, like if, if Cameron Rings. can be like, yeah, look, this is a New Zealand production. It's and try and really push that. I think that it will help them get it released in China as well. Um, and it, if if Avatar Two is going to do as well. It's the original. I guess I have to. Guys, it's not American. It was made in New Zealand. <laughs> it's true, it's true. I mean, yeah. seriously though, most of it was. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's 
I, it's not even Hollywood movies. It's just foreign films now in China are not going to be as promoted as Chinese movies. But it's because, like, it's strange, right? In China, like, they weren't letting any Hollywood movies in in the first place. And there wasn't a lot of, like, big budget movies being made. They were all very, like, small budget. In, like, mainland China, like, CCP-controlled areas. Then they said, okay, we're just going to start showing them. Everyone's going to go see these movies. They're all like, whoa, there's actually a really big market for making movies. So then China just made their own filming studios to make their own movies to sell to their population. I know that's what they're selling instead of Hollywood movies. Like, as far as I know, that's how that's kind of happened. You know, or how so that's what, what you're yeah. saying Minnie, is that we should expect to see a Chinese avatar soon. Oh, uh, if I wouldn't be surprised if there's like not one already works. If like, it wouldn't surprise me if they're making one right now. I mean, genuinely, from, from what we know about it, though, I really, I feel like there's no way they could copy what Jim does. It's just too, it's too much. Oh no, no, they're not, they're not going to make it good. Oh, like, yeah, it's <laughs> gonna be a really, really bad yeah, rip-off. yeah, it's going to be a really bad rip off, you know. And I honestly, I feel like you know, the American Avatar is about a man like you know, leaving the corrupt company that he's worked for in search of a better life with a better mindset. I feel like the Chinese version of Avatar is going to have Jake actually realize that the Na'vi are the evil ones and that he has to side with the RDA. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, like, that's how um, I see that movie playing thing, out. You know? The thing though is, I don't know, man. Like, because what, from what I've read, right, um, China loves movies about water. And they love stuff <laughs> about yeah. that's in fact the variant. Oh, hey, Camera Rat. Camera Rat is also become a new member. Oh, welcome, Camera Rat. Well, in, welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Let's go. Minty's gonna say thank you to every single person. Yes. Um, thank before you, the before he does his sixty thousand hour marathon. Yeah, you need to you need to start yes. getting worried about actually streaming yourself streaming I'm, right yeah, too, no, because I'm scared, I think this yeah. is happening. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no. I want. I think. It, I think it has to be Minty and me. I think. I don't. <laughs> yeah. No offense to Minty. I just, I, it would be gonna... super boring because I would have no one to bounce off of. So it would just be me kind of sitting there, just like blind, like just kind of watching it, like with no, and just randomly going, <laughs> <laughs> "That's cool." Like every like you know, like five hours or so. Right, you I, know, or like I think. I think the big problem with doing it right is is can you actually sh- show the film on stream? No, but that's why it would be so funny because it wouldn't be like the movie. It would just be like some dude, like you know, watch the movie. I mean, just there's like... a lot of reactions on YouTube. If you type uh, um, Avatar reaction, there's a lot of those. Yeah. Those are normally no, but, like, to like um, to like twenty minutes or an hour. I think I've seen some of them. I'm yeah, not, and, like... and also because because it's a because it's yeah. edited after the fact, they can add little clips from the filming. Yeah, because there's definitely a market for that. Like, there's this YouTuber, um, I think it's pretty much it or something, but they do, like, really funny, like, commentaries, and they, like, they splice it in with, like, scenes of the movie. You could do it that way, but, like, having, like, a, like I don't know, like, a 60-hour stream of some dude watching every James Cameron movie where you can't see the movie, and it's just some dude sitting there just going, oh, that's cool. Well, that would be I, the I, worst I, stream you, ever <laughs> Thankfully for you two, he's only done seven movies so far. So you might yeah. be able to survive. Oh, that's still, you, that's still a lot, under a day. That's still like at least 20 hours though, no? I mean, yeah. yes, it is, yeah. So yeah. That, just under. To, okay, so this is a question. I think this is like kind of relates to what Becca Pick said. Is that, do we think that they've advertised these movies enough? Or do you think they are waiting till after D23 before they really start hammering like the way of water. And that, that's for the reason. Yeah. December 23 or, or D23? Uh, D23. Okay. So that's the Disney expert. Yes. Uh, for those uh, of you who don't know, on the 9th, between the 9th of September and the 11th of September, there is going to be uh, D23, which is like a Disney expo where they show all, all the future content for the next year or so that Disney's going to put out, and it's highly um, anticipated and expected that we'll, we'll get more Avatar news there, and even that we might see a trailer, a full-length trailer for the film. 
I'm, I'm excited. I want to see that trailer, honestly. Mm, yeah, same. So, go back to your I... question, I guess. Um, yeah, I think, I think, no, actually, to be fair, I think what's going to happen is the trailer is going to come out and then it's going to be quiet again for a new, for another further, like six or eight weeks. And then like a month no. before they'll start playing TV ads and interviews on, um, with cast on T, uh, like, like Jimmy Fallon and stuff, all that stuff will start play, uh, happening. I think it's going to be really quiet for a couple months. I'm not going to lie. I would be completely happy if we didn't get another trailer. Well, we are definitely <laughs> getting another trailer. <laughs> I was going to say, we'll probably we get another trailer. Get probably if it was just that first. one trailer and we go in with just that one trailer knowing what we know now, man, yeah. Avatar Way of Water would be like the best experience ever I, I like i'm so scared that we're gonna get a trailer and it's gonna have like a scene of like jake dying uh quartz becoming good <laughs> uh Koru talking or something like well, you know like I a mean, really like we have figured out the whole story already i believe you just have to listen to the <laughs> podcast archive you can actually if you're listening to this after the movies come out i assume we will write about everything <laughs> but on we're top kind of, of the running trailers, out of now, <laughs> we're going know, to get posters, man. We're going to get like bus stops and buses and trains and subway stations. There's going to be a lot of posters. Yeah, yeah it's going to be nuts. I agree with that. We're kind of running out of time now, but I'd love to hear like what all of you guys think. Av- like, the, like the kind of plot of Avatar to the Way of Water. Like you're genuine, like this is going to happen and this is going to happen like scene for scene kind of. We'll talk about it after the podcast, I think. I, I don't know. I think I the do only want... thing that I'm sure will this be is two hours long. There will be water. And there will be blue there will be blue there, there will be a way. There will be blue aliens. There would be some way and some water. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine can you imagine um you go on the knuckles shows up but it's Pandora knuckles? And he goes, <laughs> Do you know the way? way? Yeah. Of water. We have that on the Discord. We have the little sticker of yeah, him. The Navi Knuckles. Oh, Navi I didn't Knuckles. even see. Wait, let me. Yeah, man, you gotta find it. Oh, Navi Knuckles. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is gonna be my live reaction. Discord. G slash A V T R. By the way. Yeah. Clee uh... Clee always knows exactly what. This is why we need Clee on every show. And I was panicking. He, he knows <laughs> what to do. Um, although someone someone says the French guy in the VC sounds like the angry chef from Ratatouille. Yeah. I read it. I read that comment. I chose to ignore it, but fine, you can bring it oh, up. You just bring Come on, it up. Clean. Like, Come on, man. <laughs> you know, Clean knows I love his voice. So he knows that I think it's funny. Yeah. Um, I think Jake is oh, going to be in it. Oof, camera. Yeah, probably. Really I mean, that's been spoiled in the trailer. So it's, I mean, yeah. it might be. It might be Jim doing his classic, you know, misdirection. Yeah. True. I, I'm so <laughs> much. Minute. Oh. So, so your question. I think. I think it's the teaser trailer has literally shown the final. The final battle. I think that you know when they're in the water on top of the, like I forgot the names, but the flying yeah. crocodiles. Skim wings. Uh, oh, skim yeah. wings. Yeah. I think that's. It's like a parallel to the first movie where it's like the the navi on the right and the the humans on the left. I think it's going to be that again. What if that's just like Jake training on the skin wing and he's trying to look all cool and then like his kids are like, oh, bad stuff, man, you're embarrassing. He's, he's still mad about when he was training on the dire horses and he fell on this yeah, yeah, on yeah, yeah. And... in front of Neytiri, so he's like, okay, yeah, exactly. this, so I, have to I'm really going to cool impress her. I know I've had three kids with that woman, but I still feel the need to impress her. I mean, what so is everyone... Know? You, you notice this as well, like, anything that flies in Avatar, everyone wants to stand up on it. They never sit down. Because he's standing on that <laughs> skim wing. Maybe when you plug in well, yeah. the queue, you feel that the thing's just like, you need to stand. So <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> When you it. plug it in, I've I've seen seen when you make the head. I've seen something about this. You just need People, to be stable riding, and dynamic. Horse riders never, like, fully sit, do they? Because it's painful. I don't sure. know, man. Like they like they when like stand when on you're this. going quick, yeah. But I don't know, man. I, Maybe like... it's the same thing, M- Maria. In the chat, um, it's supposed to be a worldwide re-release. So I would assume that if you live in like a pretty populated area in Canada, you should have a uh, there should be a a, a, yeah. a showing near yeah. you. They haven't announced it anywhere really in local theaters, but trust that it's coming it, it, it might even be that 
so they wait for D23. And again, so this is one of my predictions, okay? If we don't see the trailer as the public for the, for the Way of Water, I think they might attach the trailer, the next trailer for the Way of Water, to the remaster. Yeah, that would um, make a lot of sense. That's what I think we're going to see. Because again, it gives an even bigger incentive for people, you know, kind of like with the teaser, where if you want to see this, go see the movie, um, and then you'll be able to see the trailer. So I can imagine that being a thing again as well, because we know that James Cameron does want to support movie theaters that have been struggling since COVID. Yeah, that would actually make it like make three billion dollars. Do I feel because yeah, people will do crazy so stuff to see new content. Scene. Yeah, like do you guys remember when um the Phantom Menace was coming out and the trailer was like only playing in like theaters because like it was nineteen ninety nine. So people, yeah, people would buy would tickets to movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they, because it was playing at the start of the movie and at the end of the movie of like you know just a bunch of random movies that were out at the time. So they'd get a ticket for the movie, go in, watch the trailer, and then walk out, and then come back like two hours later to watch the trailer again. <laughs> That's mad. Did you yeah. got? Did you guys not do that for Doctor Strange and the Avatar? Yeah, trailer? exactly. That's what I was <laughs> about to say. The same thing. People yeah, did for I. Doctor Strange. I was very surprised when I saw it, though. Even though, like, it's a Disney property, I don't know why I was, but like, I because I I went to go see Doctor Strange with my friend, you know, and we're just sitting in there, like, you know, like, we're just like nice and chill, and then think about like oh, the way of water, and he's like, "What are you on, man?" Like, good times, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, um, Camille yet? Uh, what the? That's exactly how it happens in the movie. Yeah, your previous message. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah literally that's impression. exactly what happens yeah I, I love it like um i okay sute follows the big man thing theory you know <laughs> oh my like, let me God. explain no let me explain right yep. sute is angry at jake because he thinks that jake is a little man but then sute realizes that jake is big man because only big man can tame Toruk. so you then know? he then he's happy and you know what I noticed as well, actually, if you rewatch Avatar, or at least I'm pretty sure this happened, I can't say for sure, but I'm like 90% sure this is how it goes, yeah? We are named Sute never podcast. calls Jake, Jake, after he gets Taruk. He only ever calls him Taruk Makto. So I think yeah, if Jake... Yeah, brother Taruk, and he calls him... Yeah, yeah, yeah but he never before, calls him Jake. Before that happens, he's it's not following Jake, he's following Taruk yeah. Makto. Yeah, yeah. He calls him, uh, I don't, Tsahelu? No. Um, no. What's the word uh, for warrior in Navi? It's it's like uh, on a scown or something. Yeah. No, scown is idiots. Yeah. But well, yeah, he calls him warrior in Navi. I don't remember what the word is, but he says it with a lot of disdain. And then after that happens, after he gains respect for Jake, he calls yeah. him the same thing, but this time he means it. I think yeah. I I I hope. I mean, again, I hope that with the remaster, we get. Oh, I, do, I actually, the more we talked about this, I I do think like the more I want to see more of like those scenes, like you know, like the the deleted scenes with Sute. There's so much extra of his character as well. The, I hope yeah. Sute gets like, you know, at least some like screen time in the way of water, even if it's like a flashback, you know. I don't think that's going to happen, but yeah, I, I hope so. He's a really right? interesting character, and he's he's, he's the coolest. It's like dude. seven years ago, right? Or I don't remember how. Yeah, many I don't think they're going to have flashbacks of the childhood of a guy who's not even here anymore. But um, man, I'm waiting. It'll for... probably be a Disney Plus series, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah they need to make a Disney Plus series, of dollars. and it's called yeah. like the Suit Game or something that. like that. Yeah, I don't want to see it on Disney Plus, oh, but if it, people okay, want it. Right. You know how Amazon made that that series, The Boys. They're gonna make yeah. one on Disney Plus, and it's gonna be about Sute and like a couple of other like Navi. Like and it's also called The Boys. Humans. No, no, but it's called The Scounds. Uh, who's gonna be Homelander? Know. Is Tootsie Homelander? Tootsie. <laughs> Sute, it's Sute. Yeah, he's right. You know what would be really funny? You could get Laz Alonso, who's in the boys, back as Sute, and you could get Carl Urban as like the Homelander guy. 
Okay, I think he's just like some general the SNL skit, not a TV feel, show anymore. I feel like I feel like we've reached the end here, guys. I think we've we're yeah. going. Like, <laughs> we're uh, derailing. Uh, we yeah. ran out of things to um, say quite obviously. I think I think I think that for everyone who's watching, thank you for, for watching as always. Um, definitely check your local showings as we get closer to the release date, which is on the twenty third of September. Um, I think that you that there's there's a very 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 high chance that you will be able to see it. Um, uh, I, also, I would say that there's another podcast later today on Drinking in Pandora's channel that I will be going on. So, you know, check that out and wish me luck. I hope that you're all there in the chat to support. Um, thank you to um, who are the people who became members today? Camerat and Amanesis, the yes, names that thank are cool to say. So, yeah, thank you guys for, for becoming members. Your, your support is is you massively appreciated um and thank you for every to everyone as well who's commented and, and watched your spot is also is immensely appreciated um we wouldn't do it if you know we wouldn't do this for nobody um we, <laughs> if it was just us guys talking um but yeah so thank you everyone um and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode goodbye Thanks, guys Bye. 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 Bye.